Mamma Mia! Got it! Oh my gosh. This might hold the record for the most difficult to get to Yellow Switch Palace I've ever had to play through. So, with 77 seconds of spared, the power of the switch you have pushed will turn dashed into solid. You will never be able to enter this room ever again because it's obstructed by yellow switch blocks. And the rear progress will also be saved. Well, after that very strongly vertically oriented pipe, holy cow, that was... I, I suppose you're given the top secret area, so it's like, yes, fly to it. That is Luigi's punishment. That was still, like, I went through the level once. I'm like, I saw nothing. Then I started flying to the level. I'm like, oh, there's a pipe pain in my there. Do I really have to fly into that? Do I really have to fly into it? Whew. Whew. Well, shake it off. I guess we're going to go ahead and go on to World 2, and hopefully we get more uh, fire flowers and less uh, needing to fly into really weird secrets. Instead, we uh, we got lots of bullet bills here, so we got to watch out to make sure Mario's cranium doesn't get stuffed with one of these ginormous bullet bills. That, that would be a terrible shame if Mario got hit by one of these bullet bills. Now, thankfully, they don't travel anywhere near the speed of a real like bullet and instead they're just like big gigantic cars essentially tracing down Mario which getting run over by a car by the way still hurts so don't think that Mario is out of the woods just because he's basically being chased by a giant floating car of doom although ooh Hammer Brothers in the classical Hammer Brothers position okay jump up a platform thank you nailed them both at the yeah <laughs> that was that was worth an almighty yeah so let's go ahead and go into the pipe and hopefully we ooh wow okay another bonus area that is very similar to the one area in level one one of Super Mario Brothers, although it's one two. Oh shoot! No! Ah! Uh, I didn't expect the hammer brother to actually walk off the ledge, and then when I noticed he walked off the ledge, I was in a catch twenty two situation. Hammers behind Mario, hammers in front of Mario, and the hammer brother himself. So the hammer brother just walked up to Mario, and sadly he kind of bitch slapped Mario in the face. It yeah, it hurt. So this level can be totally broken. <laughs> the, the flying animation feels like it's... Uh, not animation. Yeah, yeah, animation. Okay, the flying sprite, I think, is what I meant to say. It just feels a little bit off, like when you're going up the uh, upswings. It's like Luigi's chin is ever, just ever, ever, ever so slightly just a teeny weeny little bit off. I guess I'll have to show it off next time I got a cape. But this Romax so far has been very successful at getting me to lose all power-ups and all power-ups already annihilated, which I suppose it's a testament to my ability to be able to keep power-ups or keep fire flowers of capes so that I continue to get fire flowers and capes from things. Now, can I do a one-up trick in Super Mario World? Yeah, that's a good question. Oh, I don't think Super Mario World actually has a one-up trick. Sadly, no Super Mario Brothers, the quest for the magical key. Infinite one-up trick for us, but Luigi went ahead and showed his brother how it's done and got through the entire level. You know, because you can. You can get past the Hammer Brothers, and we actually went into the castle this time, unlike when we had the cape and we didn't go into the uh, castle. Our next level has a secret exit, and let's hope it's not an auto-scrolling level of Doom and gloom and 2-2. Two, two. Maybe it'll be an underwater level. Or maybe we'll... Ooh, it's an underground level. All right, we'll go ahead and take that for this level here. Now, thankfully, we can kill Buzzy Beetles with the spin jump. So this immediately becomes easier than normal. Also, we can drill through the ground. Okay, two things I wasn't anticipating. We can also run across the entire top of the level. I suppose because we have the spin jump, we can drill down at any point. Ooh, is there one up here? Oh, no, there isn't. Oh, and I... If I want to destroy my chances to get back up onto the ceiling and dodge the piranha plant, I would continue to drill through the entire thing. Now, can I enter this pipe? I can drill down into the pipe. Yeah, no. I, I really like this idea of actually being able to get out of the run across the ceiling across the entire level section. Oh, gosh. I better break this block before I bonk my head into it and fall into the bottomless pit and die. In a blaze of not really glory, it, 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 it's more so we're just falling into the hole and dying. It's actually one of the most pitiful, lame deaths possible. And from what I've learned, it's the most common way like I die in Super Mario Brothers. I don't know if it's true for everyone else, but I'm pretty confident falling into pits rates as the number one causes of death for Super Mario. So you gotta watch out for those holes. They are the most evil thing to a plumber because they... Falling down a really far distance hurts just as much as falling into a pool of lava or getting nailed with enough hammer brothers or getting bitch flat by a hammer brother as we have just learned actually. <laughs> it hurts just as much and it causes death and it's a really bad thing. And out of all things, the bottomless pit is easily the biggest enemy in the game. Okay, I, I really want to explore more than just break the level today. It is easily the biggest, like, 
like enemy Mario's ever had to face because it's an enemy that Mario can never ever kill. You can never kill the bottomless pit, okay? And it'll always kill you whenever you touch it, and there's nothing you can do about it, and it's always below you in every level. Even in levels where you can't fall down the bottomless pit, if you somehow glitch through something, you'll go down to the bottomless pit and die. So it's there. It's always there. It's always hanging around there. This isn't an enemy that you can't kill. This is like an entity that is just there, and it's always there, watching, waiting, waiting there eternally for until you fall into it and then you've fallen into the eternal endless pits grass and you class for air but there's no air for you it's nothing but death 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 let's hope you had a one-up mushroom in reserve or else you'll be the bottomless pits little bitch forever Whew. that was my speech on the bottomless pits in some level or some point in that level was a key and i very clearly missed the key Okay, so Luigi, go questing for keys, please. And I don't think we have to fly in this level because we have a limited ceiling, but we're gonna find out shortly here, all right? Interesting, interesting. P-switch, what if I hit it here? Okay, save state for science. Oh, nothing. Although we have interesting P-Switch music. Okay, I have to look for an opportune moon to use a P-Switch because it very likely is going to lead us to the victory to our, uh, inevitably the key. At least that's what we hope for. I, I see a couple of areas where it's like I could hit the P-Switch, some platforms would appear, but it's not any obvious. Yes, hit the P-Switch here. I suppose maybe it's hit it here. Here, right next to the keyhole and then just immediately get the key to here hopefully I'm not like causing some uh, rift in the space-time continuum by hitting those blocks there but no let's actually head back to the end of the level because I know the end of the level looked a little bit different so maybe that's our hint here we go over to the end of the level yeah it looked like this so unfortunately we have to play a game of where do we hit the P switch so we'll start with the very far right and run leftwards and we'll figure it out from there as we try to figure out where this music comes from uh, I actually have no clue here, so it's time for the YouTube comments. Okay, YouTube question of the day. The P-Switch theme. I must identify it. Uh, my sensors have failed to identify P-Switch theme music, so I need some assistance. The P-Switch theme music. Answer in the comment section below. So, let's try again over here. And let's see here what else the P-Switch activates and unlocks for us. Um, nothing up there, nothing up there. Coins, um, nothing. There's a brown here. Wow, did I really fall in that 16 pixel wide hole? I, I just did that, didn't I? Okay, I haven't actually tried going up into this pipe yet, have I? It's a little high to make it up there, though. Okay, you can make it, but I was holding up and it did not let me in. Unfortunately, the pipe was like, you are denied and you are never making it into me because I am plugged. I have prana plant in me. It's not happening, man. So it was around here. Yeah, this is around where I picked up the P-switch. So if I hit it around the source of the P- Oh, there's a door right there. Way to go, Miles Luigi. Way to worry you know, super overcomplicate things. Just grab your key and your one-up mushroom and let's actually get our secret exit. Wow. Okay, where do I use the P-switch? Search through entire level. You use P-switch right where you get the P-switch. And there's a door. Thankfully, the keyhole is right there. And we have entered into a secret exit using the key. Yes, the key to victory is to find the key to Mario's house. And that takes us to level 2-5. Awesome. So anyway, before we take on 2-5, we're going to go ahead and go into our first ghost house of the hack this is a ghost house can you find the exit <laughs> don't get lost okay so we better watch out for those cleverly disguised fake exits and actually find the real exit here and hopefully we don't run into something that will just kind of freak us out or in okay what do you have to see ooh, ooh, we run all the way to the end of the corridor and we go back to where we started so we know we've made a wrong turn either that we are actually in a different room i'm actually going to run ahead and aha aha here we go going up ahead and we just morph right through the wall and manage to make it into the next room here that's actually classic ghost house i shouldn't have fallen for that but I, um okay i really even shouldn't call it classic ghost house. it's more new super mario Ghost house. Hey, kudos, Moon, for doing the same trick twice. Unfortunately, I'm going to now lose the P-Switch due to the door. Oh, going for the kudos, Moon, causes you to restart the whole level all over again. So it's like, yes, Mario gets the kudos, Moon, plus three extra lives. Nope, we're heading back to the beginning. So it's like, I wonder what kind of building Mario is going through. You normally just call it a ghost house, but for all we know, it's, uh, it could be a hotel. 
Yes, and then we're going to end up playing Hotel Mario. Did you know that Hotel Mario did actually have a two-player mode and you can play as Luigi? So Luigi existing in all the stupid cutscenes in Hotel Mario wasn't just for the sake of having another character go by side by Mario. It's like you could play as Mario and Luigi in Hotel Mario in case you ever wanted to do that. I don't know if you could ever get a friend to play... <laughs> <laughs> get a friend to play Hotel Mario with you if you could. You, you, you could just throw on Hotel Mario and be like, let's watch the really stupid cutscene at the beginning of the game. Okay, we watched the really stupid cutscene at the beginning of the game. Let's play the game. But then unfortunately, like five or ten minutes in, you'll actually learn and discover that Hotel Mario is a really crappy game, and then you probably won't play through the rest of it. You know what I want to see at next AGDQ? I want to see a speedrun of Hotel Mario. They, they usually do an awful games block. I actually now need to go see AGDQ Hotel Mario 2 play. <laughs> <laughs> Make it a two versus two race. Two player versus two player race. Ooh. Okay, I, I think I have an idea for their next Mario 3 run. 2v2 race. Uh, I think that actually end up getting more chaotic than anything else. Uh, unfortunately, it's, it's like the more people you introduce, the more chaotic it becomes. And unfortunately, like 2v or 1v1 races are kind of fun on EGDQ. Uh, but unfortunately, like anything else, is really, really, really confusing. And if, you're, if you don't know what I'm talking about, audience, um, ADDQ, awesome games done quick. By the time this video goes up, they actually should be still going for this year. By yearly, technically yearly, by yearly event where a whole bunch of people speed run games for Cherokee. It's really, really, really awesome to watch. <laughs> I, I would be lying if, if, um, if I said I didn't have it on in the background right now, actually. <laughs> but we're playing Rob Maker. We're not talking about speedrunning games. We're going to... Wow, that was one of the riskiest jumps into the saw blades that I did, and it totally paid off. All right, now hopefully we have a power-up hidden somewhere in one of these boxes, because I could actually really use a power-up. There's something that I've learned here, is that power-ups are really, really useful, and I really don't want to get dunked in the head with a pile of dirt from charge and chuck so i gotta really be careful here as long as i drink vince and get my way through here we'll just to go ahead and be able to take the line guide to victory and find our way all the way to the victory line yes uh, line guides are definitely um yes these are line guides they take you from point a to point b but if you had a cape and you fly over this level it would be in your interest to do so for the sake of time now i do see that pipe being blocked off there Ooh, i'll take that star ha <laughs> ha here we go Metal Mario! Go, 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 go! So, P-Switch is somewhere hidden in the level. Oh, that dastardly invisible... Oh, that dastardly invisible coin block on both sides of everything! Alright, so let's go ahead and block every single block. And unfortunately, no P-Switch for us, so unless it's hidden somewhere else. I believe I may have missed the P-Switch, which... If this was a red level, you know what that means. That means we gotta find the secret eggs, and unfortunately, it's not time for Luigi to find the secret eggs unless it manages to come across us as we got some really funky patterns going on with the line guide here it looks like we'll be going up down and around and all over the crazy places we figure out what in the world all these shapes are in a shape of so it's time for our rorschach test here so that's clippy thing that's a guy smiling and over here is a diamond just protruding out of something i don't know what else to call that and over there we have an interlocking lock or the letter g i okay See, look at this. This is the letter G, okay? We're currently on the upper part of the letter G, and now we're going through here, and there we go. There's our letter G, and the full letter G is made by just right there. There we go. This has been brought to you by the letter G. Now, let's not fall into the pit and die. I'll take a hit for the sake of... Aww. I'll take a hit for the sake of not dying. Has no more hits to take. Darn it, Miles Luigi. Ha! Fire flower trumps all. Now... Is this water? Yes, it is water, so we can safely fall into it, unlike, um, fake plasticky water that you find in Super Mario Brothers, the original one that's just kind of there, and it's like you run into it, and you just fall through it and die. And unfortunately, you meet your fate with the bottomless pit again, and I believe I already told you how terrible of a fate it is to meet ends with bottomless pit, so let's go ahead and continue on here. Yeah, with the high enemy density we are seeing in this ROM act so far, two things to note. A, power-ups are amazing, and B, it'd be really nice if we had some fighting moves to take on the enemies, just because there's such a high enemy destiny. Let's, let's replace Super Mario World's physics with uh, Super Smash Brother physics, so it's like I can start doing A attacks and B attacks and all that great stuff and all that things. Ooh, okay. I, I, I think I just got an idea for Super Smash Brothers Melee mod. We're gonna play the Super Mario Brothers Magical Key in Super Smash Brothers Melee. I just need to get a Super Smash Brothers Melee ROM hacking tool. You know how Super Mario World's ROM hacking tool is called Lunar Magic. What would you call Super Smash Brothers Melee ROM hacking tool? 
I, I guess you'd just make it some funny pun of Smash, actually, and it wouldn't actually, it wouldn't surprise me if something like that exists. I know there's a lot of Brawl Super Smash Brothers hacks out there. Is there actually a, like, a legit, like, centralized tool for that? That's a, that's another question which I do not have the answer to. There we go. So, but in any case, let's go ahead and not butcher this jump. There we go. Oh, no bonus stars. I was hoping that I'd just nail the 50, because I'm pretty confident the 50 is on the flagpole but in any case that has been level two three i almost forgot what level i was in it did not have a secret exit if i'm looking at that right but two four does so what we're gonna do next time on let's play super mario bros the quest for the magical key you're gonna take on two four plus you know we do have that secret path to take as well when the time comes i think that actually might be just a shortcut if i'm looking at this right it's gonna be two four a fortress then just a level out there speaking of things how improper of me we made it to a scrolling overworld that means i gotta check out our whole overworld why didn't i think of doing that at first thankfully the start button hasn't been disabled like it was in a certain other hack but we, we got actually got a lot of our overworld here on the actual main overworld instead of all the side areas that's pretty sweet awesome also we're are we actually going to be running off the ledge on this overworld oh, not ledge the uh side of the screen you see super mario world you actually never ran off the main area and it looks like it's going to happen in this rom hack <gasps> Woo! Woo! I'm excited for that. Even though I know it's probably really basic and Mario just walks off the edge and then, oh, hey, you're on the next screen. But still, look at that. It's green edges. It's not the edge of the ocean. It's the actual edge of the land. <gasps> I'm excited for that. <laughs> so, this has been Miles Luigi. See you then.